Leakers have found some more info on the upcoming Valentine's Day update and a possible Fortnite x Fall Guys collaboration event. And with that said, we have a ton of things to go over. Make sure you're sticking around and watching the full thing. But also make sure you hit that subscribe button now as 90% of you guys watching perhaps aren't even subscribed which means you're missing out on the opportunity of receiving a free gift. If you want to be one of these guys in the next video all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your epic games ID down below. Now shout out to this person on screen whoever comments fall the most will get a shout out in my next fortnite news video and without wasting any more time let's get right into it and i figured the first place to start is of course if the fortnite x fnaf collab is cancelled and i'm pretty sure it's not here's why so a lot of people in the community said that scott cawthon could be trolling when he said he wasn't working on collabs with any game because he is known for trolling known for all this stuff but there's something very important to note which i'll be talking about right now as of right now there there's a portal over by a pond in game and it's set to only have one skin being mainframe now fire monkey has said that there was an old code name named a french fry uh called french fry that got leaked with snake eyes and everyone thought on this Everyone thought, oh, this is the sound of foxing running, but Fire Monkey did some investigating and said that no, the sound file is actually used for Snake Eyes, meaning Snake Eyes is both codenamed uh, Convoy Tarantula and French Fry. He then went on to say that every single skin has a fully LIB for the sound files it makes. And for example, Historian is the codename for Kratos, and all of its sound files only state historian however the sound files for snake eyes mentioned convoy tarantula and french fry basically meaning that french fry was most likely a code name for snake eyes when it was early in development he also said that this has happened in the past for example in chapter 2 season 3 fade was called a dark drift before it was pushed to the actual game files where it was renamed to racer zero Ninja used to be called a ninja streamer and then when it came to the game files it was named Torbus. So Epic Games is known for changing code names during development cycles. And it's definitely seeming that this is just another situation where the french fry code name just accidentally got left in the files without fully being transformed over. Okay so in terms of moving on before we talk about the Fall Guys stuff that I know you guys are on the edge of your seats for. We quickly need to go over a little mistake that Fortnite did in the item shop. The star shop pickaxe which is related to his. So for those who haven't seen it yet if you go into the item shop right now. You can see the unfinished variant of the star shop pickaxe simply called gold. Now right now the reason why I say it's unfinished is because while if you buy it or if you have this you can use the new version in game. It doesn't actually have a variant icon, meaning that they aren't actually prepared for this to release anytime soon. Now there is a high possibility that this actually will not be a variant of Star Shot in the near future. The reason I say this is because in the past we've seen things like Mecha Team Leaders Pickaxe having a special variant. And then later coming to find out it was actually a brand new pickaxe for a bundle that they had released later on. Well, if you guys remember, there was a double agent bundle back in Chapter 2, Season 3, which had Ghost Wildcard, Ghost Hush, Ghost Chaos Agent, and then there were back blinks, of course. What if this is a glimpse at a brand new double agent pack that we'll, we'll be releasing in the near future, using that same gold aesthetic once again? Obviously, this is just speculation, and the only reason I think this is because, let's be honest, a gold style doesn't really match haze at all or their cosmetic set and the very final thing to mention now regarding the valentine's day event before we hop onto the fortnite x fall guys integration or collaboration there could be two new consumables coming to the update in the 15.40 update during downtime of the 15.30 update 
Alongside all the leaked cosmetics and free rewards, the Valentine's Day challenges were also leaked. Here are all the challenges that were leaked on screen now. But what's actually interesting though is that there is a challenge that has a love potion that you can collect. That exact love potion is going to be a red version of the big shield. And it actually looks so good. I think we should be able to have red shields permanently. But not only that, there is a challenge that has you collect chocolate boxes and here's what they look like. Both of these items are said to be consumable, which means we might actually be able to use them. So now we're going to be talking about um, and going over all the leaks regarding Fortnite x Fall Guys collab. So this actually started as of me recording this. We should be seeing a future collaboration between Fortnite and another game that involves some delicious looking jelly beans known as Fall Guys. They also look like Tic Tacs if you ever had those. But anyways to start us off, FN Leaks and Info posted over on Twitter about the Fall Guys content system. And no, this is not in the Fortnite coding, this is actually in the Fall Guys coding. And one thing that was very interesting is that they had 5 cost costumes simply labeled Fortnite 01, Fortnite 02, Fortnite 03, Fortnite 04, and Fortnite 05. With these Fall Guys costumes being the Llama, the Cuddle Team Leader, Peely, the Bunny Brawler, and Ripley because of this collaboration. And as we know, Epic Games doesn't really tend to do a collaboration one-sided where it's like, oh, this game gets some cosmetics, but we don't get anything. They definitely might have a Fall Guys collaboration coming to the Fortnite in the near future. Not only this, but Fall Guys is also collaborating with Among Us. So for everyone out there who's like, Fall Guys is dead, Among Us is better than Fall Guys, Fall Guys copied Among Us. Um, whatever they may say, Among Us is actually collaborating with Fall Guys as well, which is quite interesting. And guys, a game isn't dead until there's absolutely no one playing it. Yeah, it may be that it's losing people, but that doesn't mean it's dead. It's only dead if there's like nobody playing. But anyways, with this in mind, do you guys think we're going to be seeing a Fall Guys collaboration sooner rather than later? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and here's another video you can check out right now. Go ahead and click it on screen and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.